What is up, y'all? It's your boy Winston Wolf. I'm back. I just want to do a quick video. So about two or three weeks ago, one of the few people that care about my channel, they posted something in the comments. They were like, why don't you review werewolf movies? And I was like, that's a good idea. Because at the time, it was just The Peacemaker and that steaming pile of garbage show, The Book of Boba Fett. So all I was doing was just reviewing those and just ranting. And like, I don't want to keep doing that over and over again. I like reviewing stuff that I actually like so then I can talk about it and I can touch on different subjects. Pause. I don't know if that's pause worthy, but I'm going to say pause. But unfortunately, one of the movies that he named was Dog Soldiers. And unfortunately, I own a copy of Dog Soldiers that I've had for over 10 years from Blockbuster. And I've tried to watch it a handful of times and I can never get past 20 minutes into the movie. I was under the influence every single time, though. Heavy influence. So I always attributed that to the fact that I, I could not watch it. So I said, well, why not try to watch it again? Only get half under the influence and then maybe you can get through it. Because I'm always hearing about how much people love this movie. I'm reading online. It's a, it's a cult classic. as a cult following. Why not give it another shot? By the way, the fan is on. I'm not shutting it off. You can go cry about it. I do not care. Shut up. So... I watched Dog Soldiers again. I cannot get past 20 minutes into it. I don't care how sober I am. I don't care how wrecked I am. I cannot get past 20 minutes into this movie. And one thing I could never do being a movie fan is make excuses for movies that aren't made that well. A lot of people, I think, give this, you know, a pass because of Neil Marshall, because of work that he later on went to go do. Like, um, what's the Escape from New York ripoff that was pretty good? I can't remember what it was called, but he, he has some good movies. But this movie, this movie is not a good movie. And I'm not going to judge it on what Neil Marshall became. I'm going to judge it on what it is at the time. And if you have potential and you're going to be a great director and you have, you know, you have confidence in your skills, but you don't have the money to have special effects or do a movie the right way, put that on the back burner. You're going to get to it eventually. If you got that skill and you're in it for to have a long career, you're going to get to it. Put it on the back burner. That way you can do it right. Do something within your means for that moment. Do something that's heavy on dialogue. That doesn't cost anything. That way you can work on the dialogue because dialogue is almost always a writer, director's, you know, it's that that's that's the hardest thing. That's why people just love Tarantino so much, because he's made dialogue almost more important than you know the situations or the plot or action scenes it's to where you just want to hear his character spit tarantino dialogue but for a lot of directors a lot of writers that is a very 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 hard thing to do so focus on that then later on get to your big you know your big werewolf epic but i just if, if i can't get past 20 minutes i can't give this any kind of rating i can't speak positively about it in any way I mean, yeah, I can give you, you know, a pat on the back. Hey, you know, awesome effort there, guy. But as far as a, a movie, I, I can't do it. So my rating, zero to ten dog bone rating, I, I got to give it a zero. I can't, I can't do it. But I will give you a consolation. Neil Marshall, Centurion. This is a great, great, great movie. I love this movie. It's not one of my favorite movies. It's not in my top 20, but I love this movie. It has Michael Fassbender. He's Fassbendering it up. Check this movie out. If you like uh, Gladiator, you know, any kind of, you know, um, what's the phrase? Uh, sword and Sandal movies. You know, anything like that. Check that movie out. You will not be disappointed. And I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed that more people haven't heard of Centurion. It is an awesome, awesome flick. But yeah, Dog Soldiers, I... It, it, it's not that I'm giving it zero dog bones on my rating. I just, I can't rate it. I can't. Maybe one day I can get around to it. Maybe one day I'll break my leg and I'll have some really good opiates. And I'm, you know, um, in the bed, can't move, you know, need some stuff to watch it. Maybe I'll go back to it again. But right now I just, 